that's so nice. <laughs> The price of even making it, you know it's not cheap. Not Never cheap. mind the lights, you can sacrifice sleep. Put your best out there, see results in a week. I don't think they know. Hello, everyone. What is up? Here we are, another beautiful day in paradise. Birds are singing, clear skies. Still, the temperature has not made a big drop. It's still around 50 degrees here in New Jersey. Um, so, today we are going on a pretty heavy mission. I'm going to explain a little bit of it so that you guys aren't totally confused about what is about to go on. So I'm getting all the rest of the stuff out of the trailer. Well, maybe I'll just leave the pallets in there so that the thing doesn't slide slide anywhere once it's in. Um, so my friend T. Ward, longtime friend, he's been in some videos. He was here the one day helping us pull apart the gold truck if you guys watch that one uh, the parting out video and he's been in maybe the 50th the 50,000 subscriber video he was in um, so he's been doing metal working and welding for a long time like over 10 years working at shops and stuff and he moved to Colorado recently like this year still this year it'll be 2020 by the time this video comes out i think uh he moved back home got a job at a metalworks shop in pensalkin and his boss was about to get rid of this big piece of equipment so he said oh I, i'll buy it I'll, for that price i'll buy it so he got a hold of it for a really really good price um, it was like an inside job kind of inside track type of thing where no one else had an opportunity to buy it and no one else that was there wanted it because they have nowhere to put it just like we have nowhere to put it but we're going to go there today um, give if he even cares he was saying he could just cover it until we sell it again give him our half of the money and then put it in here cover it with moving blankets and tarps, strap it down, bring it back, and try to sell it um, for, you know, hopefully a profit. Uh, it was a decent enough price that I don't think that it's possible to lose on it, but this is a great way to end the year, and we're going for it. Uh, you can't pass up opportunities like this. These are the ones that can make you money, and these are the ones that are very fun so here we go i'm going to clean out the trailer and then we're going to get on our way in a few minutes here the dream okay so this is what i'm going to use today to strap down this beast. All these ratchet straps, they're pretty big. We got three big ones. One, two, three. And these are the three straps. One, two, three. And then I got the two mediums. One, two. So that should be enough. I'm gonna bring an extra extra little guy it's actually in the truck already and then got this one which is missing the strap this one's actually from harbor freight this one the other ones are thicker and i'm gonna wrap this beast in moving blankets and then the final wrap will be this trampoline tarp so hopefully that all holds it down and it should be good to go. I'm pretty much extremely confident that that'll be fine. So not really the craziest tools you need for this specific move. The problem with the thing is it's so big and weighs so much 
that if it once it gets in the trailer it's not coming out of the trailer without a forklift or a skid loader or a front end loader or something a piece of equipment or 10 guys but that's just counterproductive Sammy J just dropping off the packages at the post office before we go on the mission. Good morning. Good morning. New Year's baby. New Year's baby. Ready? Mm -hmm. What? You're just variety. Who is? You're variety. the forklift to load it. Yeah. Yo, big dog. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, boy. I'm out fr I'm out front. Alright, I'm about to come out up here. Oh my gosh, this thing's huge. How heavy is this thing? How Thousands of pounds. Oh, it's not coming out of the trailer unless it, someone has a forklift. There's no way to take it out. Work. Yeah, it's a dream. Where do you think he is? What do you say? <laughs> <That's like huge. laughs> we got way over our heads this time, boys. Wow. What is this even? I have no. I don't know. What it's a saying. milling machine. Milling machine. Okay. Drill press. That's a serious drill press. <laughs> what is it? It's made in Spain. <laughs> Sometimes I don't even know what I get myself into until it's too late. With the big dog. With the big dog. Why did he just take it the forklift and bring it over where I, I was? Know. I don't know. Instead of turning it around for three hours. <laughs> the big doggy. <laughs> Yeah, no you didn't. <laughs> no you didn't buy this. <laughs> no you didn't buy this. <laughs> this is nice maneuvering now. <laughs> A little front heavy there boys. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's almost in the middle of the axles. That's perfect where it is though. Straighten it, yeah. That's so nice. <laughs> Alright, we got it in. It's a beast. It's twice as big as I thought from the picture. Uh, gonna strap it down.
twice as big as I thought from the picture. <laughs> you know what I mean? Dude, look, it's got a fucking eye. Dude, it's, it's, too, big. <laughs> it's too big. It's too big. It's got a fucking hook. So we'll do one like, like that, I guess, the ear. And then one like on here and then one this way. Yeah. And then maybe just like one over. I don't know. Fine. It seems like only like 10 minutes left of that. Yeah, you're good. I mean, I'm good to go if you want to eat. I can do this. You know what you want? Maybe. You doing your fair share of these? All right, we got it all strapped down and on the road already. I just pulled over to check all the straps because this is a really, really, really heavy piece of equipment. All the straps are looking straight fine for right now. As tight as they can get, really. But this is a massive piece of machinery, twice as big as I thought. Um, this is the real deal, so hopefully we can you know see what we can do with this thing it's actually in really good shape all right so on the way back home we have the village thrift so we're gonna see what we can find in here it's a massive thrift store Go ahead. You can go in. Find some New Year's claims. They like uh, barred up the windows. I kind of like that little cart. That thing's sick. Yeah, of course they barred up the windows. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> what did you say? It's popping. That's true, but there is. There is? Look at that hippo. He's pretty cool. Seven in the barn? Dude, for the hippo? I'm gonna have to get him, dude. Is that weird? No? Check out his... I mean, I like him. I love him. Are you going for it? I love him. Dude, the hippo? I have had this problem since I was really little. And Dad, if you're watching, because I know you do, low key, he knows what I'm talking about. It's not a problem because we can use him for a photo prop. The Why hippo. Do you so many stuffed animals? Flower. I attached to him. I don't know what's wrong with me. Pretty cool. Look at this camera. Pretty cool. Very unique little guy. Alright, seems like this place is extremely picked through. Alright, we got them. We had to get them. Did you want them? I wanted them, but you sealed the deal. I like them. He's like, he said, you sure you want them? He said, yeah. He's thick material. He's a big, he's nice. He's a big dog. He's a big hippo. Big hippo? Big, big like Landis. Big milling machine in our car. Big hippo. Yeah, now we're just adding weight. We can just put this guy in the in the back seat and put his seatbelt on. I always feel like they think we're like stealing uh, cameras. the cameras. They always think that, but dude, they can look they can look at the tapes because I always bring it in. Oh uh, yeah, I figured out that's not what I was gonna say, but I figured out why I might like the hippo. I used to have one like that. Big hippo when I was a kid. And I think my brother's daughter has it now. That's what my mom's had. Well, she likes the big poo bear too that I used to have. Um, so, we used to call them Hippomericus. <laughs> That's real. But I took them, I remember, to like Florida one time. 
and it was just such a burden because like look how big this thing is it was like almost as big as this guy <laughs> this guy's awesome though for a photo shoot or like even just to just have as like a put like a hat on him and like a tie just chilling out but i was gonna say we have the do off milling machine in the trailer um we're taking the long way back and avoiding all major highways because there's no reason to unnecessarily take risks with this thing in the truck in the trailer even though this truck and trailer are 100 percent built to haul stuff like this it's still stressful dangerous and scary and to take the extra 20 or 30 minutes to get home well worth it so that's what we're doing white horse pike all the way back Just stopping. We saw it on the side of the road and couldn't resist it. So we're looking around in here. Look at this. Wizard of Oz. Look at this thing. This is like a computer in the early 90s. Type it away. Look at this. Sound design, old school cassette player. Kind of a dream, kind of a dream. All right, I don't know if you guys heard me loud and clear, but we're in Goodwill. Found this jersey. Eagle season's really getting ripe right now. They're doing well. It's an XL. Five bucks. I think I'm going to get it. All right, we found this thrift store. We've been here once before. That works? No way. I used to think those things were so cool when I was a kid. through here. Mm -hmm. Iron Age. These are cool. Just looking. Lobster. Cookie cutter. And book section. Looking deep, looking deep. Like who's like so far out? Look what we just picked up. Like I'm like where are the little far outers? Like I'm trying to get a hold of them. And it's like they're far out. I mean you think I'm far out. I mean look at this. It's Yo, far out. You're gonna leave me hanging look, like this that? Is I'm leaving you out here. Dude, Put your you hand can't. on your dicky. Right now. <laughs> look. Who's far out? We are. Who's far out? You wanna see something who's far, out? far out? Check this <laughs> out. Check this out. <laughs> That's far out, bro. That's fucking far out, man. <laughs> That's a shit. What is it? A drill press? It's a milling machine. No. Way. Yeah. You guys are going way deep. <laughs> Look at this. Thing. So far. The reason, the reason you, the reason you did uh, capture my attention was on the VW bus. I know that. But I realized that, that they he'll belong never, to Charles Ali. Yeah, he'll never give it up. I know him really well. Well, another veteran, like myself. Yeah. Oh, man, you know who you are! We scored, bro. Ah! <laughs> oh my god, is that your brother or He what? looked like it. He's so <laughs> gnarly. But it's New Year's Eve, so he's having a good day. I like to see people happy, though. He's so funny. Okay, so we officially made it back home. And we have the do-all here. I took the straps off to shoot pictures of it and also for my dad to take a look at it before I, so my idea is to wrap it in moving blankets and then tarp it and hopefully get it to its permanent home as soon as possible. But this is what it looks like. So. It's a milling machine. It is, 
the Sheen model number 82464. So this is what it looks like. It's actually even majestic and it's from what I can tell in totally good shape. I don't think there is nor did he say there was anything wrong with it. They just upgraded to something different and this was taking up space. So <clears throat> win, win, win for everyone. The person who owns the company wanted it gone. The person who I'm friends with decided to buy it for a discount, pretty good price, discounted price I would say. Uh, and it's gonna end up in somewhere where it's gonna be fully used. So. I'm not sure how this thing really even works. But it punches holes, it's a drill press. It shines metal, it grinds metal, polishes metal. I've never used one, it's what I should say. I don't know how to even use it, but I know it's a pretty awesome piece of machinery. It's a very heavy duty piece of machinery. And this is part of like the love and the beauty of doing what we do. Every day is something different. Yesterday we were looking for antiques and clothing at thrift stores. Today we picked up a gigantic milling machine from an hour and 20 minutes away and brought it back to our house to sell. And tomorrow it's gonna to be something totally different, so. I do suggest All right, I'm gonna throw the other lens on here and just get some cool shots of this thing because it looks so awesome. Do you like this thing, Dad? Holy shit, you gotta move. I gotta see. Wait, wait how <laughs> much did you move. pay for this, Turner? It's all T-Word, I'll tell you. How are you gonna move it? You can't move it. It has to be taken out by the person who buys it. Yeah, but you gotta sell it before it's green. Yeah, hopefully in the next few days. I would put a tarp over that. I'm yeah. gonna wrap it with blank, moving blankets put and tape. There. Put that up there. And then wrap it with a tarp. I wanted to leave it open for Dad to see first. Because he'll never see it alive again. It's nice, right? Jeez. What are you going to do? Did you already take a picture of it? I took all pictures of it, yeah. And you got to post it. Yep. What are you posting it for? Big with it, right? Here. Forklift. Oh, my God. Dad, you like it? I'm in awe. I don't even, I can't even talk. You want to buy it? I take it to your shop now. That is not mine. <laughs> no, just for, for fun. Like, to just bring there. To hoard it there, like we can just hoard it there. I want to see the back of it. Oh, it's open. Do you know what's the model number and everything? Oh my gosh. Do you know? It's on the side, yeah. On this side? On the other side. Do all. Made in Spain. Oh my gosh. Yeah, well, they're not made here. Well, yeah, but they're not made in Spain anymore. Yeah, they're made in Spain, Germany. The guys come from Germany to uh, no. fix the brick machines. Could you imagine? Yeah, they're good. It's a dream. Why'd the boss get rid of it? He got a new, so he got a new something new. Why 
It's been there for like a hundred years. The bricks, there's 3,000 pallets. We're going out of business. Yeah, I, dude, I literally, I used that exact example yes. to someone else. So, when they were talking about, you're gonna buy this machine, I was like, put it this way, my boy's dad bought pallets and pallets and pallets of bricks. But the guy like, said, 40 to 100 dollars a pallet will average them at like 50 or 60 that's fucking 200 150 grand he goes right now at seventy thousand dollars whoever pays me can have the bricks and you said all right see ya i'll take it yeah Fuck and then i didn't i stopped taking long showers at my mom's so i could just <laughs> i could go ahead and just take my own shower. dude i knew you would cross over that machine dude. that thing is a legend yeah, I might buy it just to have it. I kind of figured you would like that idea. <laughs> okay, so it is nighttime now. Um, we went out to dinner actually for New Year's with us, my parents. That's why they were here. But I have these moving blankets. So this is my plan. I don't know if this is the best way to do this, um, but it's the way I'm going to do it. I'm wrapping the thing in moving blankets as best I can and then I'm going to put a tarp over it so here's the baby so I've been looking it up the amount of things that this thing's possible I see why they call it the do all because you can do a lot with this thing so this is what I'm doing I'm gonna <clears throat> put this here and I guess I'm just gonna wrap it just start wrapping it around the bottom can do that. that that would be nice just like hold it down there which one do you think one of no, these no the tape just the tape touch the tape to here is that what you like real quick just to hold it in place the tape just tape in the old tarp that'll hold it for like at least 14 or 15 seconds until the <laughs> tidiest gust dude. of wind just pull blows that, it up pull that tight <laughs> Oh, it split it. There. But you know that, what I have? go around, maybe. You know what I have? The trampoline tarp I could just put on top of this. Yes. And it has the metal to it'll hold it down in here. Tarp? That's the baby. Wouldn't you say? Yeah, what's it Caught on something. Caught. <laughs> Give me an end. The way he was wearing. Would you keep it if you were rich? Just to keep it? Yeah, obviously. So you would hoard stuff? Well, wait a minute. Certain things. That I would hoard, not the RC Cola machine. You want to see the RC Cola machine? Why is it even here? <laughs> you know why. I'd mill the RC Cola machine with that. Cut it in half. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. Cut it right down the middle. Oh, your idea. It never happened. Okay. Move the pink trailer. <laughs> go to Harbor Freight. Get another one of them. Then just back it right in on your tent. That's it. That's the ticket. That's not a good idea. You, you could back it right into it. He's mm -hmm. got a point. And then what? Just leave it. And then just keep it forever just in your trailer. Hang out around it. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, though. Hey. Happy New Year. Happy New Year's. How's that face mask? Mm. On too long, guys. On too long. This is what our New Year's looks like. Party. Party! What are you looking back there for? I lost some. Some toys for the cats? Mm hmm. I was looking for it. It's a special toy. Alright, we're going off to, not to sleep, but we're going to end this video. So, picked up the big dog today. The big dog, yeah. After looking into those things a little bit, I don't know if that specific one can do anything of the sort, but me and Paul were just watching um, a video of them basically making a engine block with a milling machine which is pretty incredible but they do a lot of things and that piece of equipment was really really expensive when it was new and it's still worth a lot of money 
So hopefully we can find the right home for it, someone who's going to use it. And the dream continues. Just always stay open to those opportunities. And ending it off, it is New Year's. So I will say this has been the greatest year of my entire life. Married to my best friend, my soulmate. And we got baby Ruru this year. And who else? What? Who else did we get this year? Mr. Quo. Did you have a good year? Yes. Happy New Year's. Best year of my life. All right, let's keep it right, going. Pop, pop. Get the pop. I pop said like. on my Instagram, I said 2019, nothing else can compare. So the bar's set very high for 2020. Let's go. Let's go. That's what I put on there. 2020. 2020. Big tings. Big tings. Big girl tings. And? Boy tings. And? What? <laughs> He's a skeleton mask. And good night or good morning. You. Say happy new years to all your friends. Who wants weddings? Mr. Crow, say happy new years. He said happy new years, guys. I don't know if you can hear him, but. Come on, Mr. Crow. Say happy new years. Mr. Crow! Look! Yeah! Pup Pup, stop being a bully! It's not okay! I Mr. didn't raise Crow. you like that, boy! He's the same face as Mr. Crow. <laughs> you did raise him like oh, that. Oh, you know, that's your blood brother. Y'all know.